Well, that's part of the symbol. He goes, here we go. Here's the other half. Now then. Okay, so it's like an X on the right and a W with an arrow on the left. Okay. That's more like it. Okay, got a zodiac symbol. Sagittarius. The Scorpio sign. Okay. Uh, okay, so the sun and moon together, the arrow and the M. So let's see. Okay, the arrow is ten. I mean, ultimately, these puzzles are pretty easy. Okay, and the M is 2. Ten, two. Don't see the sun and the moon anywhere. It's amazing how I've already played this and I have no recollection as to what I'm doing here. Ah, oh, wait. There it is. Maybe I'm not supposed to press that anywhere. Okay, arrow is 10. 10, 2. What does the sun and moon have to do with it? Is it like on that wall? What was the little hand gesture he was making? None of the other pillars have any marks on them either, only that one. So what does that mean? I see a 10 here. Hmm, well, the numeral 10. Nothing. What did that letter say again? Is that 10 and 2? Was that 12? The Scorpio sign. And a Roman numeral 2. I mean 2 first? Roman numeral 2. No? Hmm. Well... Where's that Sagittarius symbol? Sagittarius. Roman numeral 10. I mean, 10 and 2 is 12 or 20. Roman numeral 2. Ah, nope. Did I miss something on the letter? Why am I so dumb? You guys have probably figured this out already. Sagittarius. Roman numeral 10. This is why I can't do puzzle games. There's 12. Okay. I'm just dumb. 10 and 2. X and II. I just didn't see the 12, really. turn it so that the letters are facing the right way. I mean, he just read it, so it doesn't matter. But it would be nice to rotate it a little bit more than it's letting me rotate it. I 
So this is it. Alright. Time to head back. Got what I was looking for. Watch that first step. Um, feel like jumping into blackness. Not the best idea. I see some kind of a landing platform there. Oh, okay, it's all pretty steady. Down we go. Huh. Now what? Stuck. Stuck again. Drunk again, Frylock. I hate when the camera like won't let me look down. I think this is a sliding thing right here. Whoa. Yes, sir, Bob. <laughs> yeah, let's see Rafe do that. Who is this Rafe? I wonder. Said a person who has not played this game. And is he impressive? Me? Uh, so yeah, like I was saying in the other video, he's definitely uh. There's Vargas. I want a cut. <laughs> I want in. I'll give you in. Definitely uh, has seen his fair share of travails. El Dorado turned out to be a golden a statue. Uh, like eight feet tall, made entirely out of gold. I mean, should I just spoil everything? I'm going to put it up to a vote. So please email me if you're watching this. Leave it in the comments, whatever you want to do. Should I go ahead and give plot spoilers for Uncharted 1, 2, and 3? I mean, on one hand, if you guys don't play it, you'll probably, you know, have horrendous things happen to you and your family. Living in poverty, things like that. Because not playing Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 is just the stupidest decision you can make. But on the other hand, I mean, I want to talk about it. Because a lot of it goes hand in hand with things I'm sure I'm going to want to talk about as this story unfolds. Such as Nate's on-again, off-again relationship with Elena. But, we'll, yeah, we'll get there, I guess. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Whoa. I mean, completely unrealistic. Even more unrealistic than other Uncharted games. In terms of that swinging mechanic. He can just launch himself great distances. Like it's nothing but a thing. Ain't nothing but a thing. Oh. Apparently I had multiple options of which way to go. Now, how did, how did I... Have I been here before? I feel like I was in this tower. I think it was a different one. Yeah, I think... Shoot. I don't remember. No, I definitely was not, but I was in one that was a lot like this. Somewhere. Where was it? Was I here? Maybe I was here. You made it. Now some exposition. What you find? Greg? Nothing. What? Place was picked clean. Liar. There's a clue hidden up there somewhere. I couldn't find it. Are you sure? Were you looking in the right place? Maybe I just I missed something in the letter. 
It could have been another tower that collapsed centuries ago. Yeah. There are uh, any plans to this place? You know, like blueprints? Uh, could be. There's a bunch of old files. Okay, great, great. Go, go look through those, okay? See what you can dig up. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll talk to Sam. He's our Avery expert. Maybe he can make sense of this whole mess. Right. I'll, I'll look through the files. Yeah. Turn around. Done talking to him. Come and find me. You got it. Ah. Gringo, if I catch you fighting one more time, one week in the hole for you. So, nice acting, Barnes. Almost as good as mine. Oh, snap. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Let's make it the principiante, right? Huh? Hijo de puta. Lo siento, chicos. Tengo que irme. Claro, te vas cuando estás ganando. Para ti, eh. Jesus, they worked you off. Good, you all right? Just another day at the office. Come on. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're gonna keep me in suspense, are you? You were right. So this is Sam. No, we were right. No. We just gotta find Rafe. No, and... Rafe. Don't, don't start, please. Oh, come on. Like you said, we did this. Oh good, I can, you and me. I can pause cinematics. Rich asshole comes in on the tail end. How long have we been trying to get in here? We had some leads. No, we didn't. Hey, not one. So like it or not, no Rafe, no Vargas, and no getting in here. Speaking of Vargas, we got a problem. What kind of problem? Did Rafe. he get you into the old prison? Yeah, yeah, he did. Right. After he read the letter. Hmm. hmm. So how much does he know? Enough that he wants a cut. Oh, shit. Rafe, if anybody else finds out about no, this... I'll work it out with Vargas. Don't sweat it. Right now, let's just... Let's get on to more important matters. All right. Let's find somewhere a little more, uh, private. So this Rafe guy apparently is rich, and he's like the financial backer of all this. All right, coast is clear. Which leads me to okay, question: so what do we got? Why does he need the money? Oh shit! Huh? Hey, may I? Just be careful, okay? Wood with gold and silver inlay. It's well made. <laughs> it's hollow. Why would one of Avery's men go through the trouble of hiding a cheap crucifix? It's not a crucifix. Technically, a crucifix is a representation of Jesus. It's not Jesus. Well, you're right. There's no crown of thorns. He's tied to the cross. Well, if it's not Jesus, then... Read the inscription. <sighs> Digna factus recipimus. I bet Ben knows what this means. We receive... We receive, we receive the due rewards of our deeds. Yeah. Look at you. That's the benefit of growing up in a Catholic orphanage. That's St. Dismas. Yeah, penitent thief. But what's the connection? Guys, let's just pretend I skipped all of Sunday school. Uh, okay, uh, during the crucifixion, Jesus is placed between two thieves, okay? One of them mocked Jesus. The other one, this guy, was penitent. Okay? He accepted his punishment with grace and jesus brought him to paradise a version of events only found in the gospel of luke i believe yeah <laughs> certainly not in all of them what you figured it out there is a cathedral of saint dismas in scotland wait the last sighting of avery was in scotland that can't be a coincidence no <laughs> you know i have my doubts about you too but let's find vargas Get the hell out of the shithole. Oh, snap. <laughs> Let me guess, this is the guy you picked a fight with? Ah, uh, didn't know he had so many friends. Le dije que no habíamos terminado. Mira, ya nos ganaste, okay? Muy tarde para hablar. Aquí no sales! You know what? Tú no te metas. Okay. And here we go. 